yeah, so I know I haven't done a video in a little while, but I've had a really hard time trying to film, and right now I'm trying to be a little quiet because everybody's outside, and I'm really hoping no one hears me. But today I decided I was going to do my first ever book review, and I've never been the kind of person to review books because I'm kind of like a goldfish reader. I think that should be a term, a goldfish reader. Because I will read a book, I will finish it and be like, oh my god, this is the best book I've ever uh, read. I love it so much. But this happens every time I read a book. I'm really easy to please with books. So it's very rare that I find a book that I can criticise anyway. And yeah, so I decided I was going to do a book review of The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer. Which in a way kind of feels like treason because everybody loves this book and it's got so much hype. I feel kind of bad giving it bad reviews, even though I'm, my thoughts don't really carry that much weight, but still. I didn't enjoy this book as much as I thought I was going to, so I thought it might be interesting to, to like tell people my thoughts on this book and see if there's anyone else who has the same thoughts. So, basically, I'm going to read the blurb first, so that because there's a couple of things that I'm going to mention that will probably sound like spoilers if you haven't read the book, but which really aren't spoilers. So, the blurb says, I'll tell you what happens because it will be a good way to introduce my brother. His name is Simon. I think you're going to like him. I really do. But in a couple of pages, he'll be dead, and he was never the same after that. So, yeah, it's, the main event of the novel is that his book, novel, do you call it a novel? His brother dies when he's quite young, and that's really the main event of the novel. Like that's one of the problems I had with it. If somebody asked you what this book is about, you'd say it's a boy who, when he's younger, his brother dies, and that obviously affects him a lot mentally. And they'll say, and what else? That's it. Basically, that's it. It's just how what happened to him, what the effect of his brother's death had on him. So there wasn't really that much plot, and a lot of the times I would be kind of confused because there was a lot of it. you find out about how the brother died by flashbacks and things like that, and just uh, the plot was sometimes confusing and it wasn't really. It didn't make me feel like, oh, I have to read more, I have to read more. The only thing it kind of made me want to read on was trying to find out exactly what happened to the brother. Because he was very vague in a lot of um, a lot of parts, and it was just... I didn't really enjoy the writing, the way the book was written. So, um, I had the problems with the plot, and then... I found the main character kind of hard to connect to. I mean, I know he has mental problems, he has schizophrenia, and this is the first time I've ever read a book about where the protagonist is someone with mental problems, I think. I'm pretty sure I haven't read another one. But I just found him quite, kind of hard to connect to, which obviously I don't have schizophrenia, so it was, all, it was never going to be easy, but still his thoughts are very kind of jarred and disjointed, and... A lot of the time he would give reasons for things, but I would just wouldn't see the logic, and I just didn't agree with him a lot of the time, the way he treated people, and things like that. I mean, I know he was grieving, and he blamed himself for the death, death of his brother, which, if I'm completely honest, I blame him too. I'm an older sister, and I know he's actually the younger brother in this case, but because of the other brother's mental condition, he was more like the older brother, and even at that age, I would not have done what happened in this book with one of my siblings. So, he's dealing with guilt, he's dealing with grief, and that obviously causes some mental problems, but there's this much, there's 300 and something pages on how he, he dealt with the death and everything. Um, near the end of the book, he seems to make like kind of some progress with his grief, like he does something, I'm not going to say what, obviously, but he does something and it's probably meant to be this huge, like, step forward in his grief and whatever, he's maybe getting over it a bit and understanding it better, but I didn't see it as that big of a deal. And then 
I don't know. I just didn't really enjoy the book that much. I think I've read a lot better books, and I'm sure. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. This is why I don't do book reviews. It touched me a lot. It was very sad in some parts, and some of the time I did understand the guilt and the grief, and obviously that much guilt and grief can affect a person in a way that will cause them these mental problems, but it was just very... nothing happened really. Like, it was basically switching between flashbacks to what happened to his brother and flashbacks to kind of the aftermath, and then his daily life and things he was doing like in the mental hospital and things like that so it wasn't really there wasn't really that much going on i don't regret buying it i gave it a four out of five stars on goodreads and i don't regret buying it but i think at the time i would have rather have spent my money on a different book rather than this one and left this one till later it's at the time, I was like, oh my god, I have to read this book. It's had so many great reviews. I really, really want to read this. But I think I would have enjoyed a different book a lot more. There was a, a few other books I was considering. I think I would have enjoyed one of those a lot more. So, yeah, um, I should hopefully have another video up soon. Oh, and by the way, I'm not criticizing. I'm not trying to say, like, it was terrible. I said, like, I gave it a four out of five stars. I enjoyed the book. It's just not really my type. Um, I think Nathan Filer is amazing and I really commend him for, write, for writing a whole book. I mean, I've tried countless times and never managed to, so I do not really want to criticise, but yeah, it was just my thoughts and feelings. I'm not meaning to put anyone down or be horrible or nasty or anything like that. People who know me will tell me I'm not critical at all of anything. It's just my thoughts, really. So, yeah, um, I'll try and get another video up soon. I'm thinking maybe doing, like, top five books that I love and that not many people have heard of, like pe books that people should read. So, yeah, I'll try and talk to you again soon. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, if you agree with me or if you disagree with me, leave a comment below. I'd lo love to hear what you think and maybe we can have a discussion about it in the comments and I'll make another video soon. Bye! Decide whether I like green tea or not. I, I bought a whole each and a half bottle because my boyfriend bought some and it smelled really good and it tastes good at the beginning but it has a weird aftertaste. Like you have like it kind of an apple taste as you're drinking it but not a sour and then you get this weird leafy aftertaste and it's really weird i'm still not sure if i like it